I got dumped on the street, man. Can you imagine? And now here we are. <laughs> Hello my loves, happy new year, welcome back to the channel. For those that are new here, welcome and for those that have been here a while, welcome back. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'll give you a moment to. Thank you so much, I appreciate you in advance. Um, This is my first video for the year, so of course it's going to be a reflection on the previous year and planning for this year. But first can we just acknowledge that i got a couch for free so this is the couch lucky for me i got it for free the reason why i settled for this couch is if i pull it out just like that it becomes a bed so if people come to sleep over i managed to minimize my space not get a very bulky couch but multi-purpose the couch and i moved my little mirrors if you remember i wanted to move these mirrors here i moved them here this one and the other one right here it looks pretty cool it's a vibe man that's what it looks like now so i need to get some artwork to put over here so that it reflects on the mirror that's going to be up here the mirror is still on the floor but i'll put it up and then we'll see what to do with that but i got a couch you guys let's yeah so yeah the year started off and i've been very lazy it's wednesday 4 17 pm and this is when I'm getting up. Basically, I started my whole morning routine at 2 and it normally takes me about 2 hours. Which makes sense. If I did this in the morning, this is exactly how this day would go. I would start recording this video in the morning. But let's get into the nitty gritties of planning and reflection. 2021 was a crazy roller coaster ride. I don't know about you, but let me know in the comment section down below. Because for me, it was cray cray. There were good moments and bad moments in January 2021. I was still using, oh my god, I have to get it for this. When the year began, I was still using my notebook as a journal, which is what the 90 day be your own bay journal is really best off of. All these pages with black uh, tape is the pages where the tabs are on the 90 day be your own bay journal. It was a habit tracker. This is September 2020. Anyway. In January 2021, I was still using this notebook, not knowing that I was going to come up with a whole journal and even start a whole business with it. Oh my God, you guys. That's how 2021 began for me. I got the idea to turn my notebook into a journal. But then the day I finalized the journal and sent it to my, to the supplier for printing and everything, it's the day my sister passed away, which is a whole mixture of emotions. Let me tell you, I lost my sister and then I'm starting this business where I don't know where the money would come from. I did not know how it was going to happen. I knew nothing. I actually didn't know that this business would work out because I didn't know where the money would come from, but it showed up somehow. I'm coming up with my first product. It's an actual physical product you guys i'm so excited then in february i got the first sample of the journals after sending it over to the supply and everything they put it for me in a notebook the way i wanted spiral bound with these gold corners and everything and they sent me a sample oh my god you guys <laughs> the first prototype is here I'm so excited, I don't know how to act. We finalized the sample in February. Then in March, I did a pre-launch. Now that was the most trying time of my life because imagine you've been thinking about this product, you've spent a lot of money. You're trying to market this product, but you don't know how to market it. You're putting it in the market, but people do not, people are not buying. But the only reason people are not buying is because they're not seeing it. I didn't know that then. Because a lot of us think when you start a business, put it on the internet immediately, you're going to get buyers. Hell no. It's a whole process. If you want me to talk about it, let me know in the comment section down below. I will get into it. Actually, I'm going to make a lot more of that content this year because I'm getting a lot more questions regarding my business and everything. And maybe I will do a little course for you guys or something. Yeah, so much of 2021 was very difficult. I had my pre-launch and I only had six sales and all those sales were from people I knew which was a little bit comforting that my people are supporting me but then this kind of disappointing because oh my god no one is buying my stuff and if you go back and watch the vlogs last year 41 minutes into the pre-sale i got a pre-order oh my god <laughs> you will see how everything went you will see how i w i had no sales for a whole i don't know six weeks or something with making my first order with the suppliers with all this stuff with having no ma yo it's a lot of stuff i'm just like what am i going to do 
then of course in april i'm an april baby it was my birthday i turned 32 i am oh my god i'm turning 33 this year that's crazy but it was my birthday and guess what the first set of journals were supposed to arrive in april they didn't arrive you guys after telling people that bought during the pre-launch people bought the journals without me having the physical journals i was selling with a sample and promising people something then guess what there was a delay oh my god i was like what the hell is happening after people waiting for more than six weeks they had to wait for about now eight weeks i'm just like this is crazy anyway the journals finally came in may i launched in may which was great i packed my first order i shared the whole experience with you guys if you want to go check it out check out my securing the bug playlist i don't know what it's called but i'll leave a link to it up here <laughs> Now launch season came right after I was experiencing that mini depression from not making sales or anything. I have all these journals. Guess what? I lose my grandmother same time. That happened in May. In June, I started business started booming. I started creating content that converts and all that after testing out so many things. And actually I realized us as human beings, we block our blessings because i know exactly what i need to do in order to make sales i repeated the same thing i did in june this december and i started making sales so a lot of times you're like i'm doing everything but it's not working but are you really doing everything we'll get into that in another video where are we we're in june so i was making money enjoying my life and i'm like this is the first time i'm actually making money for myself and my friend invited me to go visit her in alberta again i vlogged that whole experience Where are we going? Calgary. Calgary. <laughs> so yeah i went on vacation it was fun around the same time is the time i got catfished i shared that video with you guys it's a nice story time you'll enjoy it so after vacation these are things you do not see on the internet i got covid and then i also hit burnout actually right before vacation i moved oh i forgot this the year of 2021 began when i was in one of the airbnbs that i lived in and then in june before the vacation we moved again me and my roommate to another airbnb so when i came back from vacation and everything you guys i got covid that was like one of the worst experiences ever i did not put it on the internet but if i'm not mistaken i do have that footage somewhere because yo that week was one of the worst weeks ever i tried to record and edit and whatever but i didn't have it in me and i just let the footage go so this is about july when i got covid but around the same time when i came back from the vacation got covid i hit burnout because I wasn't feeling inspired to record content anymore i was feeling i don't know not less motivated i was just not feeling inspired i was feeling tired and my body needed to rest so i took a break and then my friend at work with us who was also my roommate at that time needed me at his restaurant which is where i work El pastor man i have a very flexible timetable and that is where i work for my friend because i'm able to do this youtube do my business while working for him because he lets me choose my hours but during that time I never had any flexible hours so i was feeling like i'm not inspired i'm not being creative all this stuff so i just started exchanging my hours for money and i think that's why one of my goals this year is to stop exchanging my time for money literally at the end of this year i want to have made 100k in my business and not have to work for anyone ever again basically in august i moved again to this beautiful studio apartment that we are furnishing one day at a time the table is finally done place is still super empty i'm getting stuff one by one but this is what it looks like that's me i'm heading over to the dollar store to get some cleaning supplies because the place is dirty but yeah my bed is still not set up i'll set it up when i get the stuff that i need i love it so much the more i furnish it the more it becomes cozy and the more i never want to leave you guys i love my apartment it's ridiculous anyway i moved here it was a little bit mentally i don't know i wasn't mentally okay during this time in august for some reason but little did i know in september i was going to lose my dad september i lost my dad on september 10th worst thing ever it was a thursday night friday morning to 1 a.m when i got that call mm -hmm. let's not even go there because just thinking about it the emotions come to me and i want to cry again but like i feel like it hasn't even been four months well has it now 
on the 10th in a couple of days it's going to be four months but grieving just never stops there are good days and bad days i just i'm one of those people who decide to take the sadness and make and turn it into something positive you know of course then it meant that in october i was struggling you guys i struggled mentally emotionally physically everything my workouts were crap my eating was shit uh I don't know everything my business was just going its own direction i'm trying each and every day but i'm not really into it i'm creating content and whatever and then in november i told myself girl we're going to get back on track so that's why you see all these videos of trying to wake up at 6 a.m having a four hour work day experimenting on things that are going to be more to help me become more productive and put me in a good mental space if you go on my channel you will see all this living alone the living alone diaries playlist all this stuff is there from me moving to losing my dad to trying to get back on track it's all documented if you want to check it out october I was struggling and then november i was fully on trying to get back on track which is what made me decide to do vlogmas to upload a video every day and see if i can be consistent and see if i can be committed and i'm so glad i did it because it made me realize i have a lot of time in my day i always say i don't have time but when i commit to something i find the time to do it so that is how 2021 was in a nutshell i feel like i went off on a rant which brings me to the real review what worked for me and what didn't work in 2021 what worked for me is tiktok tiktok worked for me it helped grow my business patience being positive believing in myself and showing up every day no matter what i know there were very difficult days but showing up every day doing one small thing daily those small things add up and that's what worked for me i also during the practice of my 6 a.m morning routine i realized that every time i wake up early i get a lot more work done for my health set soul set mindset all that stuff but also in my business i get a lot more work done then and when i do that it's like pouring from a full cup because my cup is full i'm able to fill other people's cups but i realize that when i don't have my morning routine and i don't have my mornings together I'm pouring from an empty cup and that quickly pushes me to depression because first of all I'm not growing in my business, I'm not growing mentally, I'm not I just feel like I'm stagnant and that uh, it frustrates me for some reason. What didn't work? I know the things that don't work for me because I procrastinate like crazy. Number one, what doesn't work and I still do but I need to stop doing is when I wake up, get onto my phone. I've been trying to practice a five second rule that every time I wake up I say five, four, three, two, one, get out of bed. But I'm still struggling with that too. However, I'm mindful and aware of myself and that bad habit that I wake up in the morning and check my phone. It leads to nothing good in most cases. Let me just say that. Uh, I keep looking down because I wrote down everything I have to say in my journal. Next is what am I grateful for you? I'm grateful for my procrastination because if it wasn't my procrastination, I never would have come up with these strategies in my notebook, let alone set a whole business out of it. So... I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that my dad is resting in peace because he was really struggling. He was in pain as much as I lost him. I'm grateful that he's resting in peace. As painful as it is. Who am I grateful for? And let me know in the comment section down below who you're grateful for. What are you grateful for? What have you learned? All these things I'm asking. Let me know in the comments down below. The people I'm grateful for in my life, number one. Of course, I'm going to say my dad. I'm grateful for my dad for putting up a good fight. When we found out that he had cancer, they said he had a couple of years to live and he outlived those years even more. But he was in so much pain. But I'm grateful for him. I'm grateful for my support system. My support system, oh my God, these people, they're there for me emotionally, mentally, all that stuff. I don't know if you remember, but in 2019, I got dumped. I was on the street. I had nothing, no money. <laughs> that was a story for another time. I got dumped on the street, man. Can you imagine? And now here we are. Hmm. God is good. Trust and believe. Let me tell you. Things happen for you, not to you. What is my favorite moment for 2021? I think my favorite moment has to be the day the UPS truck came and my journals had appeared. Yo, that day I was like, oh my God, that stuff has come for real. Oh, I'm going to just play the footage, you guys. Because that was one of the most exciting times of my life. I had this feeling on Thursday that my packages were going to come before the date, which was Friday, and they did. So here goes. Every truck that passes here, I think it's me. It's for me. This one. There's another one. It's not mine. It's living. It's living. 
one hour later. <laughs> oh my god, you guys have never been so happy ice cream. <laughs> the truck is here. Look. No. <laughs> what? I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, it was supposed to be four bucks. I said they four bucks. No, but I only got two today, so. It's so four. tomorrow, yeah. yeah, it's fine, man. Two. What? <laughs> Yo. My excitement right now is off the roof. I cannot start to tell you how happy I am. Last but not least, what did I learn? Oh my God, I learned so many things. I learned patience. There is this thing I quite can't explain in English. Well, maybe I can. You know, after you lose someone, you realize how life is temporary. So, I mean, okay, the word is I, I don't take life for granted, but that's not, actually, that's not it. But anyway, let's just use that. I learned that do not take life for granted because yo first of all life is temporary we're only here as temporary guests you guys my dad was a big deal everyone knew him in uganda whatever yo when you die no one remembers you so just come down to earth be a nice person be kind do all those things because let me tell you we are all visitors you can't finish yourself the way my mom i know the thing in luganda but it's very difficult for me in english right now for some reason the way my mom away my mom like don't direct translation is don't finish yourself meaning like don't do things that are out of this world for temporary situations in life because you know what those situations are temporary and we are also temporary here you just i guess you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow one day you're fighting for something or being a bitch to someone the next day you're not around or that person is not around or just god puts stuff in favor for that person and then you have to ask that person for stuff yo life life is uh something I've just come to terms with the fact that I have to be patient with it and I have to, I don't know, go within myself and go back to the morals of life, be kind, be loving, all those things because life, it's brutal out there. My goals for 2022, I want to share my goals, I want to say them out loud because when I say them out loud, they're more likely to happen, I realize. So, 2022 goals. I've been in Canada for a while now. I have a work permit at the moment, but I want to make my stay here more permanent. So this year is the year that I get my permanent residency, which that is my first goal for 2022, get my permanent residency. My second goal, which is part of my permanent residency stuff, is getting my driving license. As you all know, I don't drive, but I'm actually tired of taking the metro. And as I'm elevating my life, I might not be driving right now, but the Canadian driving license, you have to take like a year or something before you get it. And then there's provision and all that stuff. It's not like in Uganda where you can do backdoor stuff, man. So I have to do that so that by the time I decide to actually get a car, I have a driving license and I don't have to start from scratch. Next is get 100k youtube subscribers now one thing that i learned this year is i reached my goal which is get 10k subscribers but 10k subscribers does not translate into buyers it does not translate into money because just because i have 100k doesn't mean people are watching my content as much and for me on my channel i've been very demotivated if you watch the previous video that's why i actually opted out of vlogmas because the more i uploaded the less viewers i got but then i also realized that the one video on my YouTube channel that's doing it big is the only one that came down. All the rest were doing really well, which is kind of good for me, meaning I can give a chance for the algorithm to pick up one of my other videos as opposed to this one video that I don't have a lot of content about on my channel. This video is about garlic for vaginal infection, but a lot of my content on my channel is about a lot of different things, business, wellness, all these things. So these people subscribe and then it's not the content they're getting, which I totally understand now that I got time to look into it and be more open-minded about the whole situation. My next goal is to make 10k months in my business. This has been a goal for a couple of months. I actually put it on my vision board. I'll put my vision board here. I do want to travel, all these things, but in order for me to travel, I have to work on my PR number one and I also of course have to make money because how am I going to travel without the money you know yeah which is why I was saying I want to make 10k months in my business which will mean that I'm able to pay myself a good amount of money for the work that I put in of course I had to break it down to see how I'm going to make that those 10k months but I'm going to leave that information for the people in the 90 day be your own bay group chat for everyone that bought the journal we have a little group chat 
uh we meet once a week and we talk about our goals break them down and all them things them anyway next is get 100k followers on tiktok i feel like out of all the goals this one is the one that i can easily do i probably can even do it like this overnight because tiktok your tiktok is magic it's very easy to grow on tiktok if i put my mind to it i can grow it's not like youtube whereby the algorithm needs to favor you tiktok it's the people that need to favor you you just have to be very relatable and last but not least i want to create a community of 1000 loyal community members basically like as much as i might have 10k over 10k subscribers have my goal is 100k followers i need to know that i have a thousand people in a community that supports each other so that we encourage each other maybe 1000 is a little too much but why the hell not if i have like 100k people following me you know on different platforms yeah so that was it i did make it to my 10k subscribers i created a product last year and those are the two things that I achieved that was great and I'm proud and this year I want my business to take me from where I am right now working part-time and trying to meet my bills to paying for my whole lifestyle fully without me having to lift a finger of course lift a finger in my business but not employment like I told you I do not want to exchange my time for money because I don't think that stuff is right I feel like I've ranted for a very long time but yeah that's today's video it was just to sit down and basically reflect as well as talk about my goals for next year it wasn't very actionable but you can answer the questions i put on the screen in the comment section down below i'd love to know what your goals are i'd like to know what you achieved last year i'd like to know what you're struggling with right now to see how you can move forward you know because the moment you declare something it's like you put it out there to be worked on anyway that's it for today's video as now it's dark outside actually it's 4 51 pm and it looks like that anyway i feel like i've rambled a lot i hope you enjoyed this video found it inspirational by the way it's the fifth and i'm still i have i still haven't started on working on any of my goals but i just want you to know that it's okay man that's life just acknowledge that yes you're not doing anything but you're going to be putting in the work and you know, just start because this video I had, pro <laughs> I procrastinated this video from Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday. I was even thinking of procrastinating till tomorrow morning, but I've done it now and I'm happy. I'm grateful for myself for putting in the work. As always, do not forget to stay motivated, be patient, trust the process and spread the love. I will see you in the next one. Bye.